Now, if you're calorie counting but looking to serve up a healthy breakfast this weekend, then why not try this morning's option? Firefighting chef from Limerick, Paul Knapp, joins us now to whip up a tasty tofu scramble in the kitchen. Paul, look, let's be honest, I said to you earlier, when I read my notes last night, I thought, tofu scramble? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Quarter to nine in the morning? Yes, yes. But it is you, so I'm willing to give it a go. Thank you very and much. I did a little taste earlier, and it's delicious. Thank you very much. You sound surprised. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. a word scramble, I think, just put me off. OK, so what we're looking at is we're looking at some simple ingredients, OK? So we're looking at some tofu. It's going to have some turmeric, some chilli, some yeast flakes in there as well. All this recipe's up on TV3's website. And we're going to serve it some roasted sweet potatoes, some roasted uh, tomatoes, and roasted portobello mushroom. OK, so you have the... The sweet potato, the mushroom, and the um, portobello mushroom. So what we do this in is in the kind of, oven already. Absolutely. So you're roasting those. Yes. So what this is is like a 30, 20, 10. These take 30 minutes. These take 20 minutes. They'll take 10 minutes. You can cook them all in the same tray. I put a little bit of smoked garlic in. Just have a little sniff of that. There's smoked garlic. Love it. Lovely, oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, I'll stick oh, that yeah. in my pocket and take it to work and come back and smoke. How bad is that? <laughs> all right. So what we've got is some roasted sweet potato with some paprika. 30 minutes, 20 minutes, and 10 minutes. And you can just pop that into the oven. All right. So and I'll you pop, just threw the cloves in. Just leave the cloves in, and you can just squish them out of their skins, and you get. Oh, Absolutely lovely, all right? Oh, so we just leave those into the oven. They're going to roast the steak, and we can leave those roast away, but we have some. About 180, 30 minutes for the sweet potato, 20 minutes for the mushroom, 10 minutes for the tomatoes. That's great. 30, 20, 10. 30, 20, 10, OK? So what we do then is we have half a red onion, and we just start to sweat that down so it starts to go translucent. And into that, we're going to pop in about a clove-ish of garlic. You like a bit of garlic, so I won't oh, I mad. love this. We've got garlic with garlic and garlic. Gar exactly, yeah, yeah. So what we do, is that's just some onions and garlics, and we're going to sweat that down just till it goes soft. That's been sweating down for about five to eight minutes or I always think like you have to have patience with onions, don't Cooking you? Sometimes it's that anticipation of what you're going to have. It is that, just, it's that preparation. It's like the job in the fire service. It's preparing for service. Cooking's no different. Preparation, preparation, preparation. Mm. A well-stocked larder, a well-stocked fridge, and you'll eat well. Yeah, but this, look, I mean, what you've put in the oven there, that's five you, minutes to prep. You can, oh, absolutely. There's no you can, work you can forget about really that, absolutely. Enough. So we're sweating off the onions, we're setting off the garlic. Now, the tofu, OK? It comes in a block. It's dirt cheap. It's about two euros yeah, for a block of tofu. so cheap. And there's loads in it. Absolutely. And all you do is you crumble it. Yeah, you get this sponging effect because it's compressed down. And when you start to flake it, it starts to sponge up. So, so all we do is we just literally, like a stock cube, we just kind of just flake this into the bowl. Now, there will be people watching, I would say, this morning who will go tofu. No. no interest in eating that. Don't even know what it is. It doesn't look great. It's got a weird texture. What do you say to those people, Paul? Yeah, all Convince it is, them it's worth trying. Well, basically, it doesn't really taste of a lot, so it's the mm. flavour that we impart into this is the first thing, OK? And that can be said for lots of things. There isn't a lot of taste unless we start layering it with flavours, all right? Sometimes there's not a lot of taste in chicken unless... No, exactly, yeah, and you put some seasoning with it and you, you serve it up with some other bits and pieces, mm. OK? The thing with this as well, what this is like, think of this as soy milk cheese. OK, so they'll curdle the soy milk, then they'll compress it down, and then you get this block of mm. tasteless... But it's high in protein, it's very low in fat, which is really good for you. So if you're on a plant-based diet, OK, so if you're cutting out meat and things like this, um, it's a really good source of protein, OK? OK, but now, we are going to use the V word here. I know you don't like labels. Yes, I don't like labels. Because we don't want to put people off, because this is a vegan recipe, but this isn't about being vegan, you said. No, vegan is a lifestyle. You know, veganism is, is with regards to leather, it's with regards to the products that you would buy, it's, with regards to the, it's the whole lifestyle. This would be plant-based. This is a plant-based diet. So, again, this would feed a vegan, it would feed a vegetarian, and it would feed... What's the word for someone that eats normal food, then? If they're being labelled as a vegan or a vegetarian, if someone eats... You know, you don't say you're a Us? carnivore. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't know. OK, so what we've got is we've got our tofu. Into there, we're going to put in some yeast flakes. They're nutritional yeast flakes, high in B12. Vegans sometimes are low in B12. And some turmeric, just for a bit of colour and taste, and some chilli flakes. And we're okay. just going to pop that into there. Now, where would you get those? I don't think I've ever seen those in the shops. Health food stores. All okay. health food stores will do nutritional yeast. Okay? Yeast, OK. If you don't have it... Then you can just... You don't have to put it in there. It just gives it a slightly nuttier taste and just a bit of a boost of B12. What we're going to put in there as well is like a soya sauce. We're putting about four teaspoons that go into there of soy sauce, OK? Lovely. All I would say is when you put this in, because you can taste the tofu as it is, just taste it, just build up the flavours, OK? Because what might happen is it might be too strong. Because soy sauce can sometimes be really, really salty. Mm. So just add some in. And it really it absorbs taste. it, doesn't it? Oh, it, it does, tofu? absolutely, yeah. yeah. So all we do is we just mix that in there like this, and we get this lovely colour coming through, that lovely yellow. And it's got the texture of scrambled egg. So if you like scrambled egg, you like scrambled tofu, all right? And all we do then is just we're going to pop that into there. And you see, I think 
kids would really actually like tofu because kids sometimes don't like very, very strong flavors. We hear that time and time again. They like blander flavors. Yes. So you could, you know, put in a little less of your turmeric, a little less of your soy, and introduce it to kids it's, that way. And it's really, it's, it's really good for you. Absolutely. As I say, full it is, protein. It's, yes, it really is full filling. of protein and low with fat. And it's like anything. I just popped a little bit of uh, dairy spread in there, dairy free spread in there as well, just to make it a little bit softer, just to make it a little bit more juicier. And we pop that in there. And again, what you can do as well, if you're cooking it for ourselves, I normally put in a fistful of spinach. You don't have to, but what you can do is put in a fistful of spinach, it's about 50 grams, I say the recipe's on TV3's website, and we can just bang all that spinach in there like that, okay? And then all we do is Look. we just stir that in, and that will actually, the heat of the pan will actually start to wilt that spinach, yeah. all right? So you don't need to cook spinach separately, just no, put it straight in. just put it in there, and the heat pan. just wilts it down. Mm. That, that, that literally takes, to make this, takes about 10 minutes, all right? I say you can check the seasoning as and when you want. So that's there, yeah. we'll just leave that there, and what we do is we'll dish up the one that we had prepared earlier. So we've got one in the oven, okay? This is what it looks like when we finish our tofu scramble. And this is, honestly, that does turn into this. Yes, and then what we've got here as well is we have our portobello mushrooms that we've served with our smoked garlic. I don't mind this is hot. So we've got our portobello mushroom, we've got our roasted sweet potato, okay, and we've got our tofu scrambled. So we'll just dish up. So what this is is a healthy little brunch here for us. Isn't okay. this lovely? Mm -hmm. I love the, the J.B. Oliver uh, as a 3 two, 2 he tries to do. All right. And I really try and live by that, which is the three meat, two fish, two veg. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Pretty yeah. easy way of looking at it. In fact, I probably do kind of more of the others, to be honest. And then what we'll do is we'll just pop in there a little bit of the tofu scramble. So what do you think about this, Mark? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a bit ambivalent about tofu. Mm. I, I wouldn't say no if it was all that was there, I'd eat it, but I wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily be my first choice. It, it is, is cheap as chips. It is cheap I. as chips. And again, it will just take on the flavour. Yeah. And as I say, I'm a fan of taste, I think texture. that's maybe the problem with it, Paul, is that a lot of us have had tasteless tofu. Yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Taste, texture and colour. As I say, we've got loads left here and the nice thing that we can do is we can use this the next day. Dig in, guys, have a taste. We can yeah. use this the next day if we wanted to. Now, here we go. So should, you've put, them in, put it in the wraps yes, here. Yes, so this will be cooled down. So what we can do, we can use this the next day. Say for lunches, you can make some wraps. Taste, text and colour. So I've made things like, instead of using a mayonnaise, I've used a hummus. So it's a hummus, there's beetroot, there's grated carrot in there with a layer of this, and again with some avocado or some tomato to make kind mm. of a breakfast one. And a few weeks ago, I made a spicy chutney, a spicy tomato ketchup. So we have that there as well if you wanted that for your breakfast. So you have your tomato, you have everything. So I mean, everything that there, serve that with some sourdough bread. You sound I'm, pleasantly surprised. Absolutely. No, I'm... Well, I'm never surprised by what you... Um, um, <laughs> it's not really it's good. Gorgeous. My wife's a big fan, by the way. Thanks very much. I don't know whether it's the tight T-shirts or, <laughs> <laughs> or the accent or the food or a combination of all, of, all the of the above. For all of the above. For all of the above. But as I say, if you Delicious label things pop. sometimes, if you tell people that's going to be a vegan dish, the first mm. thing we do is we stand back and we say, hold up a minute, this is going to be kind of some weird kind of a food. But it's not. Everything there is healthy. It's whole food, it's plant-based, and it's going to be good for us as I well. I think that's heaven, I have to say. Delicious. I, so full yeah, of flavour. What, you know, I'm, there's an, a beautiful taste that's coming through after. Is that the turmeric? There's turmeric, yeah. You get a nice taste of turmeric coming through there. You get a slightly nutty taste from the nutritional yeast. And again, what we've used here is we've used this. This is a uh, an unfermented kind of soy sauce. This is from organic. So yeah, this is like something yeah. I can't quite put my finger yeah, on, but I like fabulous. it. It's coming through from this. Look, this is what ooh, the taste you're getting. Okay. Paul Knapp, gorgeous as always. No, Thank you so much. So much. Still coming out in them. Both. <laughs> we will be said that on behalf of Audrey. We're going to be launching our first aid series this morning with the Red Cross, and we will be explaining everything you need to know about how to use your first aid box correctly with a wonderful rosemary from the Red Cross. She's brilliant. And we will be reviewing this week's big releases on the silver screen with Serena Bellissimo. Mm.